Are you ready, Monarch fans? It's time for the Old Dominion Football Show with Bruce Rader and Coach Bobby Wilder. Sponsored by a Step in Time Chimney. Following a grueling game in Blacksburg against Virginia Tech, Old Dominion got a rare early season bye week and boy did it come in handy. Because Saturday, the Monarchs travel to Charlottesville to take on nationally ranked Virginia, then come home to host East Carolina. A challenging start to the season. Are the Monarchs up for the task? Let's find out. The Old Dominion Football Show starts now. I'm Bruce Rader, along with Coach Bobby Wilder. Coach, ODU has never shied away from playing a Power 5 ACC school, and you may have the biggest challenge in the history of the program coming up on Saturday night. Oh, this is going to be a major challenge, Bruce, but we're excited for it. We're excited to embrace it. An undefeated team, a nationally ranked team. We played last year undefeated Virginia Tech at home when they were nationally ranked and beat them, and that's the goal Saturday night on national television to go against UVA, play good football, and get a win. You know, I mentioned this last night on the news. When you scheduled the Cavaliers to mm -hmm. a three-game series, what, mm -hmm. three years ago, right. they were coming off a four-and-eight season. Boy, mm -hmm. have things changed in Charlottesville. They have, and we knew they were going to be good, Bruce. UVA has never been down that long in football. And the job that Bronco Mendenhall has done, he's stuck to his plan. The same script he had at BYU when he got there. He's stuck to it. He's getting kids that play his style of football. You can see the way they play, Bruce. They're, they're disciplined in all three phases. They're tough. They're physical. And I believe UVA football is back to stay now with what Bronco is doing. There were some Cavalier fans that weren't so sure those first mm -hmm. couple of years. Yeah, and, and it takes time when you're changing a culture, when you're recruiting different style of players. Look where they're going. They're, they're recruiting nationally now. Uh, and the type of players they have, Bruce. I mean, even Bryce Perkins is, is a junior college player, their quarterback. So it takes time to change the culture, the environment, and to get your system in place. And that's what Bronco has done. How impressed were you by Virginia's performance Saturday night against Florida State? Really impressive. And, and what stood out, Bruce, a couple things. Number one, they had the ball for 40 out of 60 minutes. They had 27 first downs on offense. They outgained Florida State by 100 yards. They, they negated any run game Florida State had. But, but the difference in the game, Bruce, was Bryce Perkins. He had 350 total yards in this game. He completed 75% of his passes. Bruce, at one point, he hit 16 consecutive passes. You can see his game just gets better and better. And he's really the key for Virginia. Well, Virginia quarterback Bryce Perkins may be the ACC quarterback of the week, but Old Dominion has a pretty good mobile quarterback of its own, Stone Smart, and he joins us here tonight. Stone, welcome. Your first game at Old Dominion, you play before a sellout crowd, opening of the new stadium. Game two, almost 55,000 people cheering against you at uh, at uh, Norfolk, at uh, uh, Virginia, Virginia Tech. Tech, sorry, yeah. and then now you play at UVA hot off of their big win against Florida State. Have you ever thought, man, what the heck did I sign up for? <laughs> no, yeah, no doubt. This is something um, I dreamed about playing as a kid, and um, I really look forward to the opportunity and the team playing with. So just really going out there and make the most of it. What attracted you to Old Dominion? You came a long way. Mm -hmm. It was really my um, relationship with the coaching staff. They had come and see, see me multiple times. I just felt the strongest connection and mesh with, mesh with the team when I came on my visit, and I was like, this is the place I want to be. And boy, this system really seems to be right up your alley. Yeah, most definitely. I feel like Coach Scott, our offensive coordinator, and Coach Walter um, really had a vision with what they wanted to do with me, and um, I felt like I just took off with it and making the most of it. I thought you looked pretty good in your first two games. How do you grade yourself? Uh, I feel like I did good for myself definitely could have played better and um, just growing as the season goes that's really the biggest step we're going to take as an offense coach kid's done well hasn't he he has he's really done well bruce and, and what a lot of people don't know about him he uh, he was the player of the year last year uh, in junior college football he was an all-american he had over 3500 yards 40 touchdowns so he's been very productive comes in learns our system 
right away in January. He comes in in January, and, and he really fits, Bruce, our, our aim high philosophy. He's a great person. You can tell that from meeting him. 3.75 grade point average in, in finance. He's a finance major, so he's an outstanding student, and he's just going to get better and better in our system. We've asked him to do two things, Bruce, as a quarterback. Number one, protect the football, which he's doing. Number two, find a way to move the chains, whether it's throwing or running, and he'll get better. Let's all keep in mind we have eight new starters on offense, so it's not just the quarterback. He's learning and growing with a lot of players. How does it feel having a mobile quarterback like this? Really helps you out uh, mm -hmm. when things get tough on the other team's defense. It it does, and, and it fits what we're doing offensively now, Bruce. We're playing with tight ends. We're bigger. We're playing more 12-man football, meaning the quarterback is a thrower and can run the ball as well. And we've seen that in the first couple games. He's tied for the lead in the nation of, of quarter, with rushing touchdowns by a quarterback. He's got three already. So the pass game will improve. That takes a little more time, but his mobility and decision-making are helping us right now grow as an offensive football team. It seems this football team is improving week after week and mm -hmm. with so many new players. Mm -hmm. That's really all you can ask for right now. Yeah, obviously we want to win every game we play. The schedule is the most difficult non-conference we've ever had, but there's 23 first-time players that are playing a lot of football. There's eight new starters on offense, six on defense. So along with our quarterback, a lot of talented players learning new systems on offense and learning a new system on defense right now. But I like how hard we practice. I like how competitive our team is. And I look for us to be even more improved Saturday night against Virginia. Stone, you did not look intimidated at all playing before that big crowd at Old Dominion. And you certainly didn't seem to be intimidated at Virginia Tech. Now you're going to UVA off of their big win. You know it's going to be a big crowd, national TV on Saturday night. Uh, you seem to be very calm about this. Do you ever get excited? Uh, no, it's definitely I'm excited during the week. And then just I feel more comfortable as the week goes on with the game scheme we have. And just being able to keep a level head when I'm playing out there, knowing my teammates got me and I got them, so being able to go out there and perform. All right, you're right, Coach. He's a pretty sharp guy. Mm -hmm. We're going to talk more about the game, but first, he's one of the top hunters in Conference USA. And for the first time in his college career, senior Bailey Kate dares to enter the one-minute drill. That's next. Nathan Epstein back with the Old Dominion Football Show in the One Minute Drill. We got senior punter Bailey Kate with us today. And Bailey, I want to start off with your favorite meal. Uh, Tombstone frozen pizza. Favorite reality show? Silicon Valley. If someone were to play you in a movie, which celebrity would it be? Uh, Brooks Kepka. Brooks Kepka, the golfer? Yes, he swole. <laughs> <laughs> and good at golf. The last movie you laughed hardest at? The other guys. What was your favorite cartoon show to watch as a kid? Uh, SpongeBob SquarePants. My parents wouldn't let me watch it, but when they weren't home, I'd watch it. What is your favorite memory playing sports as a kid? I was playing Pop Warner football, and I had a kickoff, and the kid was running. I was going to tackle him, and it came like right up the middle, open like the Red Sea, or parted like the sea, I should say. And I uh, hit him and broke my helmet, and he had to be carted off the field. <laughs> I can't do that anymore. I know that it's not very often you get in the end zone, but if you had a touchdown dance, what do you think it would be? The Conor McGregor walk. You want to show that off for us? Is that right? <laughs> yeah, it's definitely going to work. <laughs> and finally, what is your favorite thing about being a Monarch? Um, the fans. I mean, fans are really supportive. You see it around uh, the conference. That not every school has the support we do. Bailey Kate, punter for the Monarchs. This has been the One Minute Drill, so Bailey, why don't you say goodbye to the Monarch Nation? See you, 12 Monarchs. Welcome back, Bruce Rader, along with Coach Bobby Wilder and quarterback Stone Smart. Stone, you ran 73 plays against Virginia Tech without a turnover. you got to keep that streak going to beat UVA, don't you? Of course, yes, no doubt. Um, it's a big emphasis on our offense with Coach Scott. Um, first of all, ball security, and then really just staying ahead of the chains, not going backwards. Coach, we have not talked about defense quite yet. Coach mm -hmm. Blackwell is going to have his hands full mm -hmm. against a very good Virginia offense. Yeah, they're, they're a talented group, Bruce, very talented. Their, their scheme is outstanding. 
uh, really good skill players, I mean, all around. And, and they do it by committee, uh, but it's quarterback. It's Bryce Perkins. He really makes them go because he's so dynamic. He can throw the ball well, and he can run it well. So we've really got to do a good job up front, our defensive line, our front seven of containing Bryce Perkins. You know, sometimes it's not so bad being an underdog going into a place like UVA because everybody's expecting you to lose. Mm -hmm. So you pull off the big upset and you're the big hero. Do you kind of have that mindset? Yes, of course. Coach Wilder says it a lot. Um, just playing as an underdog, we have nothing to lose. We're really mm -hmm. going out there and competing and really just making a name for ourselves, earning our respect. Coach, looks like you got yourself a good quarterback here for a while. If he keeps those turnovers down and he mm -hmm. keeps moving around like that, I know you're very happy. Yeah, very good, Bruce. And the fact that he, he just continues to get better. The, the hardest part about when you're a new quarterback with a lot of new players is, is learning each other. We were talking about that on the ride over. You're trying to learn your receivers. You're trying to understand routes and areas to fit. And, and that continues to grow. We keep getting better in that regard, and he's just going to keep getting better. All right, Stone, thanks for being with us. Coach Wilder, good luck yes, in sir. Charlottesville on Saturday night, and we will see you next week, Wednesday night, 1045, for the Old Dominion Football Show. Have a good great night, night everybody. everybody.